and we're back on the roof so uh we got here for a thermostat call uh basically it kept going on to wait and then it would click and then it would just restart so i was like okay well i'll go ahead and jump it out at the thermostat and it my wire started melting uh so there's probably some kind of short going on between r and w somewhere or w in common or something anyway we're gonna go ahead and open it up see if we can find it so here we go all right, so that's our W wire. So if we go from there to ground, we have continuity. Um, so somewhere it's shorting. So I'm gonna separate the thermostat wire from the unit wire and see if we still get that. I wanna see if the short is on the thermostat wire or if it's on the unit itself. So we got them separated. This is the unit wire. So our short's in the unit somewhere. And then I'm gonna go ahead and check my thermostat wire. All right, cool. And mind you, I have the thermostat off the wall and the wire, the W and R wire are separated from the, uh, from the backing of the thermostat. All right, cool. I'm just checking common just to make sure. Um, but yeah, so if we were to check, uh, this between, uh, W between common, we're going to get a tone because common is usually grounded to the casing. So, um, but yeah, W shouldn't be toning. So what I'm doing now is I'm just checking uh, my uh, schematic because I want to see how many, uh, what do you call it, uh, how many uh, safeties there are. Sorry, just bear with me, it is freezing cold up here. Um, can't feel my hands. So this is, our, this is our high voltage side, this is our 24 volt side or secondary. So this is what we want to look at. So it looks like we have a temperature control. Uh, so that's a temperature uh, basically limit switch. Uh, FL, that's a fusible link. And then PS is pressure switch. So it looks like that's all we got. So we got to find this pressure switch, the fusible link, and the uh, high limit. So we're going to go ahead and open this up. So basically what we're trying to accomplish here is there is a short in the 24 volt circuit for the heating circuit. Okay. So it could be any one of these things. It could be the gas valve. Um, it could be the pressure switch, the high limit switch, uh, rollout switches. I think this one has fusible links, which is this guy here. So we want to find that. So basically we just have to kind of isolate things and then kind of work our way through. So if we look at our schematic here, we can see that our temperature switch, which is, uh, uh, what do you call it? Our high limit, our fusible link and our pressure switch are all on the same circuit. So if we start here and work our way down, we should be able to find our short. Um, if there is one and then it looks like there's a jump here so it's going to be somewhere here uh, or it could be the board itself but we want to make sure that there's no other shorts anywhere else so we want to rule those out before we you know condemn a board because uh, the board appears to be the most uh, misdiagnosed uh, one of the mis most diagnosed parts because you know a lot of people be like oh it's not working it's the board it's not always the case. You got to verify that the external safeties aren't the problem before you condemn a board. Because sometimes it'll say, oh yeah, this, this, there's a problem with this. Uh, and then if you don't check it, there might not be a problem with that. It could just think there is. So you always want to verify. Uh, so anyway, let's go ahead and get started. So it looks like the first thing on our list is going to be, uh, where'd it go? So our, our high limit switch, then our fusible link, then our pressure switch. So High limit switch is there, our fusible link, and then our pressure switch. So we're gonna go ahead. Uh, we got one wire on the case, and we got one wire here, nothing, nothing. Okay, fusible link, nothing, nothing, nothing. Oh, look at that. So this was touching this wire right here, see? And that was causing it to short. Yeah, you can even see where it burned through, so. Yeah, that's crazy, right? Look at that. Continuity. So, if we go ahead and put this back on our wire here, and we do that, and we go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and move this out of the way. Sorry, I'm doing this one handed. No more tone, as you can see. See? So if we put that back on, uh, Go ahead and put this back on here and try to do this. You see, when I'm pushing it up against that, there's our short. 
So I'm gonna cut that out of the way. I'll probably put some electrical tape over that just in case it falls again. And we should be able to call it a day. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, I was gonna put electrical tape, but I figured it'd just be better if I just put a plastic end on there and call it a day. That way, in case it falls again, we don't have that problem, see? Now it's protected by something that's insulated. And I'm just gonna go ahead and move that out of the way and we should call it a day. And then we'll cycle it from up here, hook up the thermostat and make sure everything's good. But it looks like that was our problem. Isn't that crazy? Foil lined insulation. <laughs> Nuts. All right, we got her all cleaned up. We're gonna go ahead and cycle heat, to make sure that my wires don't melt. You can see I have my amp clamp on my wire just to make sure that it doesn't go above five amps. Because uh, you can actually monitor the amperage to see if your wire is gonna melt. Uh, so anyway, uh, here we go, we're gonna plug it in. All right, so far so good. Wires don't feel hot, so that's a good sign. Let's see if we get fire. And we have ignition. And we're right at five amps. So. Five amps-ish. So, so far so good. So it's like right below six amps, so I'm okay with that. The unit's old. So anyway, we're gonna go ahead and put this all back together, get the thermostat remounted and connected and uh, go from there. So anyway, hopefully this helps you out when you come across uh, one of these shorts. Uh, thanks for watching. Make sure you like and subscribe, comment, tell me what a horrible technician I am. Hit that bell notification and follow me on Instagram and Facebook. Thanks for watching.